Well, today we are going to use a totally different method. In this video tutorial we are not going to downgrade our device in order to recover it. We are going to use a different method than the previous one. We always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step. If you want to solve what is the problem of this account deletion from this device. Which is what we always recommend watching the video. Step by step tutorial until the end so you can solve it. In this video tutorial we are going to use what is a fully updated tool. This tool that we are going to use, we always recommend watching the video step by step. Since uh we have to before executing what is that tool. We have to temporarily deactivate what is the antivirus, this is so that it blocks us. The tool detects it as a virus. Then we are also going to explain step by step, where you will be able to download that tool. The first thing we have to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network so that you can see that our device is completely locked since it has a screen lock. It also has the forgotten Gmail account EH also for those people who suddenly EH we are going to leave other totally different methods in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment. We are going to leave other totally different methods for those people who suddenly these methods do not work then they can try other methods. Also for this same model EH I also want to tell you that on YouTube. We have the community of members for those people who want to thank our channel, support us by subscribing to that channel member membership. And what happens, if you are a member of our channel you will have several benefits. We are also going to publish these videos in advance so that you can see our video tutorials days weeks before they are public. Well we are going to click here where it says use my Google account. We are going to click there use my Google account. Here we can see that we have both the screen lock both the H the Google account are completely blocked and what are we going to do? Well, as we had told you previously, the first thing we have to do is go to the PC and temporarily deactivate the antivirus first of all. We are also going to explain uh, how to install the drivers correctly on our PC. Well, the first thing we are going to do is go to our antivirus. We are going to run the antivirus. Here we are going to explain what we are going to do. We are going to go to where it says virus and threat protection. Here we are going to find this option that says manage settings. That is the one we are going to select, we select it. Then we are going to click here where it says real-time protection. We are going to deactivate that option. After we deactivate that option, what we are going to do is download the tool. We are going to go to the Google browser and we are going to write exactly as it appears. Here, Deadsel, it is what we are going to write exactly as it appears here on the screen. We write here this option will appear. Our official Android TV or D. A vid cell page will appear. You are going to select that first option. Then what you are going to do is, here we have several totally different methods. Different. Also the people who want to see it, well, they select and see these tutorials. Here we will be able to find this entry that says Ibisel apps Ibisel applications. That is the option that we will select. This would be the entry, we will click here and they will also load. All these options you will also be able to find what there you will be able to. Find uh, these options again other totally different video tutorials. You will be able to see here you will have many videos uh, we are going. To go down here we will be able to find the tool where we left. This tool we will also find the drivers both tool and driver. 
This would be the tool that we are going to download, these accesses are direct. After we execute that, let's download the tool by comp challenge we are going to extract it. We bring the tool, then what we are going to do is right click it. We right click it with the antivirus disabled and then we are going to click here. Where it says run as administrator we say yes. Here it is going to open, it is going to open uh, the program because if you do not open it and if you do not temporarily deactivate the antivirus it will not let you open. It is from the program we are going to wait for it to open. As you can see here we have what is the open program and these are the functions that we have here available for many models. Various models, now what we are going to do. We are going to go here in this option which is the driver. What we are going to do is download the drivers, we download the drivers. We install them correctly, we install them later. Once the driver installation is done, then we go to our model. We select our model, this one. We select, now that we have selected it completely. What we are going to do is click here where it says remove FRP. Remove FRP for those people who do not install those drivers correctly. Well right now I'm going to explain what you're going to do, right now we're going to explain all of that. That's why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step. Without skipping it so you don't miss any details. What we're going to do is press the power button and turn off our device. Now what we have to do is count. 10 seconds for our phone to be completely off. When those 10 seconds pass what we're going to do now is insert the USB cable. When it shows us the charging logo, press the power button. Count 4 seconds and release. You heard right. Let's did, produce the USB cable. Show it to show us the charging logo and we're going to press it for 4 seconds. C1, 2, 3 and 4, release. We're going to wait for the program to do its entire process. In some cases it usually happens that suddenly our device shows. The charging logo again or suddenly starts turning on our phone. If that happens then as you can see here here. It showed the charging logo it already showed us the charging logo. Let's do this that it hasn't recognized it. Here we have where they downloaded that program, we have left these drivers. We leave the drivers. We leave this driver called lip USB, we. Click here on install. Now we click on finish here we are going to leave this driver, this driver helps us a lot. It helps us a lot to identify and install the driver correctly. We click here, here the Metis driver should appear here. We are going to install it, to sync the USB cable. When it shows the logo we press the power button here it appears. We click on install, but as you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4 were deleted. Now when it appears again we select, we click here on install, we. Except here it was installed. Now the driver was installed and now we are going to disconnect it. We are going to run the same program as the. Lip USB, Lip USB. We are going to leave it right here, we are going to turn off the phone again. We are going to connect it. We are going to wait to see if it shows us here. It shows us, it is already installed well. We wait for it to show us the loading logo to press the 4 seconds. We are going to wait. Well, here it seems that it is doing the process, as you can see, now it worked for us. Now the process came out successful, 
but as you can see it gives us a screen. So what are we going to do now that it gives us a screen? We are going to press the power button, the down button at the same time. We are going to press those two buttons. Power button, volume down button at the same time. It is going to beep several times, do not worry. This is going to be like a forced restart for our phone to restart. If in case our phone does not restart, then what we are going to do is disconnect it and reconnect it. We are going to disconnect it, we reconnect it, ready, since it showed the loading logo. What we are going to do now is restart. Phone, we are going to restart it. We are going to wait for it to restart. Press, now what we are going to do is wait a few seconds. Since our phone restarts completely, what we are going to do is to be able to configure it. We configure it, EH, we always. We recommend before configuring our phone completely. Not to have any sinker entered to make the process faster. And disconnect any Wi-Fi networks, we are going to wait for it to start, I am going. To pause it when it starts we go back ah it has started ok. Let's go to wait let's click on start. We click here, accept. We give it manual configuration, we click here on skip. We click on skip here it would take us, as you can see it would take us to this to this process. We click here on skip and skip anyway, we click on more more, accept. Accept, we click accept, here I always recommend. I recommend this when we already are recover our. Phone completely on uh, my recommendation is always to go to. What is settings here in settings we are going to click on reset everything. This would help us to ensure that our phone is free of any errors. We are going to click here. We are going to cover to show what is the email of our phone. Ready. Now what we are going to do is click on reset. What we are going to eliminate all those errors that we have left on our phone. When our phone starts completely what we are going to do, is to be able to configure it in a way uh, uh free of any errors.